Hello again, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. So, super quick tip for you today. Breadcrumbs, you know, breadcrumbs, things that go along the top of the web page that tells you where you are, you know, like a breadcrumb. Um, very important for SEO. So important, in fact, that the most prolific and biggest SEO plugin for WordPress, Yoast SEO, actually includes breadcrumbs that you can drop into your templates or your theme files with a little bit of short code and that even comes with a Gutenberg block these days. And that's what I was using a few weeks ago. Well, maybe a few months ago. But the design I was given to build had, you know, icons and different separator icons and colors and all this sort of stuff within the kind of breadcrumb line. And I was racking my brains going, OK, we're looking up the documentation and looking up Googling stuff. Or how do I customize it and stuff like that? And then it suddenly occurred to me, I've actually done, I did this, you know, years ago. And there's a little cheeky trick you can do with Yoast breadcrumb settings and in this WordPress tutorial I'm going to show you how to get your Yoast breadcrumbs looking rather spanking. Let's get following some breadcrumbs here we've got an install of WordPress it's actually my blank star theme to be fair we've got a blog on our blog we've got some breadcrumbs home blog we click into a post and we've got home blog and the post name and of course it works for the archives etc etc right let's jump in the back end we've got yoast installed and actually it's yoast that is providing the breadcrumb here obviously and with block themes there is a breadcrumb block from yoast to drop into your templates but of course if you're using regular classic theming there's a short code right let's go over to yoast and settings and then if we open up the advanced tab, we'll see breadcrumbs here and see we've got the separator and the anchor text for homepage at the moment it's home. So we could change the text. We could, you know, change that to, you know, a couple of arrows or get a Unicode icon in there and all that sort of stuff. But what you don't know, what you, what you may not know is that you can actually put HTML in here. Yes, you can. So what we can do is we can actually put a span in there with an image tag with a source of our image. And it just so happens I have pre-prepared a little couple of images. We've got a home image. So let's grab that. And when I'm talking about the HTML, it really is very, very simple. A span with a class in case you want to do some extra funky stuff with it. Image of the source, uh, which is going to be our icon. Probably best put that in your assets, in your theme files. But for quickness sake, we're doing it this way. And also a little top tip, just remove the base URL. So if you're moving this from a dev site to a live site, it will still work. Yes, it will. Got an alt text and that's all good. Let's copy that. Get back to our Yoast here. You can put that in there. Save that. And back to our post. And whoopsie daisy, let's see what's going on here. Well, let's inspect that straight away. So the image there. So let's add some styling to this. So we'll say height 20px. That should have sorted that out. There it has. Uh, and we'll put in a margin bottom of minus 6px, 8px. So it's a bit much. 3.5 or thereabouts. Whatever looks feels good for you. Now you see what's happening here, especially if we're working in the inspector. This is a little cheaty here. You see that we've got the CSS we're adding to the element actually shows in here so if we just copy that so lazy copy the outer html and drop that into our yoast we've got all the cs in there save those changes and shazam refresh and we're all good blog page news is good that's all good right we've got another icon to get in there let's just do the same with our little arrow right which we're going to use for our divide our separator let's get back to yoast oh, actually no let's just use this again get that in there don't forget to knock off your top level url so that will work and it will be separator icon and breadcrumb sep whatever cool let's get that in our yoast on our separator part there save those changes yeah we've got a very big arrow but we've also got two because we've got two separators let's get back to the blog to make this a little less confusing let's inspect that one let's put a height on there of 20px that's better margin bottom of minus whatever 4px i'm not too fast that's cool let's copy that html let's get that into our yoast properly Whee. select all save changes refresh there we go how cool is that nice little cheeky way 
to sort your breadcrumbs out. Very groovy stuff that. And if you want some more groovy SEO action, here's a little video for you right there. But until next time, I shall see you later.